Okay, so we are taking you to a planned community that is more on the affordable side, but still North Colorado Springs. Um, we are going to be driving you through this community. We're going to be showing you some existing home options, a new build option, and showing you the schools, a clubhouse, some park areas, and again this is on the more affordable side in Colorado Springs. So let's go for a drive in Colorado Springs. <laughs> So we're heading out. I told Kaylee not to get hit by the We dump have truck. not revealed where we're heading to. Banning Lewis Ranch. Okay. So we were talking through, like, there's Flying Horse, Cordera, Wolf Ranch. You really have to have, like, $600,000 plus to get into any of those communities. And we were saying Banning Lewis is a little underrated. What is this guy doing? I don't know, but I'm scared. <laughs> I'm sorry. Life. Um... But it's definitely on the more affordable side, and it's still... As far as planned communities. As far as planned communities goes. It's still North Colorado Springs. It's in District 49. 49. It resides in District 49. Kaylee was telling me I use the word reside so often. I was like, I do. I know I always say I'll write. It's not bad. When you watch yourself on video, you you learn these little things, habits that you have, and it's real tough. I was, all right. All right. I do. I say all right. all right all the time. I'm like, stop saying that. So anyways, I, I have lots of bad this habits. This resides in the northern section of Colorado Springs, but in District 49. So new schools. So if you look at greatschools.com, I always say take those with a grain of salt. Um, but this, the brand new schools are actually one of our agents lives in this community. We have clients who live in this community and they love the schools. Well, and what I think this Close is, it is, it's like the Wolf Ranch, um, Cordera flying horse communities it's definitely a community feel the kids that play in the neighborhood also go to is this school like K through 8 or is it K through 12? I think 12? there's different options within Banning Lewis Ranch okay I want to say so I know like the one school we're going to show you it kind of looks like a barn it's yep. real cute looking but I think that one's K through 8 yeah is there that are no no grand peaks over there. over there it's banning lewis uh school a charter a cat, there's a I, charter school it's in here, a though, charter too. school too which wouldn't be part of 49 this would be, but not. i kind of did want to show them this is right off of woodman road okay. oh yeah um, like where we're at but like there is a lot of new development eli actually is going to be working at that quick quack <laughs> you, like, my trouble. son yes so he we are going to talk about that uh, about but if that. you want to meet my son he will be a quick quack car wash in so Colorado Springs. cars. Yep. Oh, that's funny. And they have a new Dutch Brothers over here that fast food, Starbucks. Yes, yeah, so they're doing some road work as we all can see in this area. A lot of new Ugh. builds in this area. So I would say Wolf Ranch, I would say Flying Horse is the most expensive. If you want that planned community with the clubhouse Flying mm -hmm. Horse, then Cordera. For some reason, Cordera always a little bit more mm -hmm. than Wolf Ranch. Again, there's, there's differences in that. Um, then Wolf, then Wolf Ranch. Uh -huh. And then I'd say Banning Lewis and Meridian are kind of tied Around together. So we're south of Woodman. Well, and Banning Lewis is also unique because they're a little bit more on the affordable side. I would say even some in the 400,000s, but there's also that like 55 plus that section. Open retreat, yep. You can have um, a house with like a shared driveway, you can have a traditional single family home, you can have a 55 plus community. Um, and there are kind of these like little sub communities in the bigger community. Yeah. And so there's different types of housing and the plans for Vanny Lewis Ranch, it's going to be huge. I think it's going to be one of our biggest uh -huh. developments because they have going the land east. east to continue to develop where all the other developments that I'm thinking of are kind of landlocked. Yep. As far as that, they're about done. Their ability goes there. They're being and Banning Lewis, I would say it's kind of like an in industrial um yeah, you have ranchy to have to looking split rail fence. the split rail fence with the cross um and it's it is like modern farmhouse because their schools look like barns yeah the community the clubhouse has a really nice pool and i know they do like in all of their different park areas there's even a lot of practices 
that yeah, my kids go on. practice around here. A lot of little, little pocket okay. parks, as Kayleen calls them. Uh -huh. um, so the house we're going to, since we, you know, we we know you're watching these videos and you're hopefully thinking, oh gosh, sorry, oh, sorry, of uh, making the moves move here to Colorado Springs um, sometime you know, in the future. Drop those numbers in your phone. Make sure to give us a call or text. We'd love to help you um, kind of plan that out and look, see what that looks like. Um, we have five star Google reviews. We just had a Christmas event. We do it at the uh, Garden of the Gods Country Club. Mm -hmm. we, I think we had 160 people there. So it was great Did though. Did we get a bill for that? <laughs> Not yet. It's coming. So we're saving for that. Um, but um, it's kind of cool because I, I think our clients get to know each other as well because a lot of you guys are from out of state and you're all moving here and don't know a ton of people sometimes. And so it's really kind of fun to see our clients like because I think one of our clients is going to, I'm like, oh, I just met her. I'm going to get her a call this week and so on and so forth. It was kind of cool to see Colorado's Finest Agency clients becoming the finest of friends. And sometimes I feel like some of our uh, areas like that we've sold in, a lot of our clients are very close to each other, even neighbors. Yeah. I'm always so it's kind of fun when you can connect them. Yeah, that close out going this afternoon and they're neighbors with, Oh, uh, yeah. the clients who they came, mm -hmm. they, they didn't come to the last one. So that was kind of fun to see them. I'm like, oh, I have a neighbor for you. So it's kind of just interesting to see how that all comes together. We're kind of the glue that holds Colorado Springs together. Exactly. So the, our little melting pot. The house we're going to is 625000 So um, I'd say so that's a to show little to bit mid to upper range for Banning Lewis. You can yeah. definitely get in for, the fives. you know, high fours, yeah. 500000 is pretty solid. Yep. Here, so this is a little bit higher, but then but we're gonna I've also seen show you some all the way up to like seven hundred and fifty. Yeah, it depends on the size and stuff. But we're also gonna show you a new build in the five hundreds in this community. It's a brand new section of the community. So uh -huh. um, you can see a pocket park straight ahead of us, Vista Park. I think that's actually where my kid actually did do soccer sometimes. Um, uh -huh. But that's a pretty big, bigger park for the community. Uh -huh. um, but schools for this one, elementary is Inspiration View Elementary, um, Skyview Middle School, and then Vista Ridge is the high school that feeds into this one particular house that we're Well, and to. I would say, Banning Lewis, it's like Wolf Ranch, Cordera, well, Cordera, some sections, um, and Flying Horse, in the fact that you can only put up like this split rail fencing. If you have animals, well, that, then the house, you can I do. Probably can't tell, but they have that chicken wire. Yep, you can do chicken wire for smaller dogs, or you can do, you know, in-ground fence systems if that's. Oh, like an electric fence, you mean? Yeah, they they have the different kinds, but you cannot do privacy fence. But you fencing. have to have a fence, right, don't Look you? Look how cute those jingle bells yeah, are. Christmas spirit coming out. Uh, uh, I, you have to have a fence, though. Don't you? Cannot not put up a fence, right? What do you mean? Like you have to put up a fence. I think I there's think. a couple sections where it's um, more open. Hmm. Okay. I'm trying to think. Oh, oh here's, here's, our, here's our gem. So we're going to go out and show this one to you um, and kind of show you the neighborhood. So let's go. So Kayleen is going to show tell us a little bit about this one. Yeah. So check out the street views. This is kind of the aesthetic in most areas in Banning Lewis. I would say a lot of people love the exterior of a lot of these homes, they're a lot of times a little bit more craftsman. Um, but let's see here. So this home was built in 2017. So definitely a, on the newer end of um, some of the homes. It is a five bed, four bath, over 3,500 square feet. Taxes are just over $3,500 a year. You're really close to the parks, the clubhouse and the schools here. Um, the HOA is $86 a month. Um, again, this house is listed at $625,000, uh, but a great option here in Banning Lewis. My hair is a little bit out of control today. Um, and now we're going to show you the clubhouse. I'll overlay some um, pictures on here for you guys so you can see what the inside of that clubhouse looks like because I don't know if we're going to go inside of it today. Um, and also post some of the school information. 
So you guys have, I know a lot of you guys have kiddos when you move here, so that's important as well. So I think we should talk about for a minute, okay. the retreat. Oh, the, the yeah. Uh, so it is retirement. in Banning Lewis. It's a section of Banning Lewis that's just a 55 plus community. They have their own um, clubhouse, really events and They're everything. Cool. Overlooks it's like, Pikes Peak. I love it. Yes. And it's one of the only communities, if not the, it only, is community the only community. There's one here that in Colorado up flying Springs. Horse, and it's not the same. It, that it's not. Clients always are like, well, if they're, you know, looking for that, it's not the same. Because it's more of like an assisted living. This and I'm is like, like a very that. active lifestyle, 55 plus community, very social, but very social. amazing amenities, super affordable. Yeah. Um, but that is also in Colorado Springs. Those homes are really hard to come by. They do. We're on the list for another client. Um, they are going to start releasing a few lots. They have some time. lots currently, but they want one of these premium lots. And so I just don't know when that's going to be. So we'll see. Yeah. But we can focus in on that section if that appeals this area is definitely more like your single family residences back by the park that we just went by a lot of those homes are like shared driveways definitely more on the affordable side but now that i say that i do think those ones have privacy fencing which one between the yards the ones that have shared driveways oh yeah maybe i can't remember now um, but you know what I also want to do when I show them real quick? We're going to show you. We're almost here. What? I want to take them down Powers as we go to that next new build so you can see Powers. Can we do okay. that? Okay. Yeah. Or, well, we have Powers is kind of way back there a little yeah. bit. But maybe just so they could see. It's, a, it's to only to Just the right. for the lifestyle, I think, of this community. You're right by Powers. So you have and so many like options. And it's like those little shopping centers. Like there's a coffee shop. There's that urban like shopping. Egg, uh, what are you talking about? The, no, it's like place. a clothing shop. Urban Collective. Oh, it's actually really cute. Where is that? right over in that by guys flooring and design and they have a coffee shop over there they have like a taco shop there's a hot works oh, I don't know. I've been oh, studio the, for workout oh, maybe i need to go there after the holidays <laughs> i need to do more things like that i tell my husband after that it's always like this after the holidays i'm gonna eat more healthy <laughs> We'll see how that goes for That's me. what my sister gave me some protein powders. I was like, mm. I know. It's a rough I, road, but I know. We'll get there, kids. We're all in it together. <laughs> so, all right. So, we're going to pull in here. We're going to show you the clubhouse for the lifestyle. We're going to show you the school um, right behind we it. We have some really good drone footage, too. We'll feed in we'll here. We'll feed in that. And then I'm just going to, we're going to take you to Powers real quick and then to a new build for our driving tour today. So, let's go take a look at this. So here is part of the clubhouse. There's a great pool area right behind there. Lori's ready to jump in the pool. I'm ready to go jump. We had a snow day yesterday. So this is the amount of snow that we have for snow day throughout all of Colorado. I don't care if you're in the north or south. It was all shut down yesterday, about six, seven inches. Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs, but it's all like, you can see it's already melting. So this is what I love about Colorado and it's sunny today. On this side of the mountain, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so this is, I'm not jumping in there today, but that's the pool in the summertime. They have workout classes. Workout facilities right behind it. That is kind of like that barn. And then this is the other, the K through 12 school. I believe it's a charter uh, charter school. Banning Lewis Academy gets great reviews. Look it up. You have tennis courts, um, really great location here in Colorado Springs. I think this is such a good design too, because what if the kids sign up for like an after school activity at the clubhouse, they can literally walk. Yeah. So that red like barn looking thing is the school. Yeah. K through 12. And you know, you can go for walks around here while your kids are and ent being entertained. So this is actually the lifestyle that you're going to have here in Banning Lewis. This is the main area of the clubhouse that we talk about. Again, other parks scattered throughout the community, but $86 a month. This is what you get. And it's kind of like that walkable community. You can walk to the clubhouse, walk to the school, walk to the park, and then also see those Pikes Peak views from a lot of these areas. So we're just leaving the clubhouse on our driving tour. 
We always say it's like you're with us in the back seat, mm -hmm. but I do think it helps when you're moving to a place to really see what it would look like if you lived here. So we're headed now. We're, this is Mark's shuffle. Do you say shuffle? 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 Shuffle. shuffle. I think a lot of people say shuffle. <laughs> Who says that? You. Maybe. I think you say it. Do it? I? Yeah. It's, it's my fancy. Like Mark Tarjay. shuffle. Mark shuffle. So we're heading towards, we're going to head towards Powers so you can see some of the stuff that's on Powers. I mean, when you go up and down Powers from Constitution this North. This is Powers. I know this is Mark Shuffle, but we're going to, are we going to, we're going to go to Powers, right? Oh, you do want to see Powers. Okay. Maybe we can do that at the end. Yeah. Let's do that after we show them the new build. I want to show them this because there's a little bit of shopping. Like, oh, I know what you're talking about. Right that's what here. you're talking about. Yeah. That's I'm, just, why I'm, I'm just understanding now. So we're going to show you this little so part. If we're confused, you guys are really confused. <laughs> so we're going to show you this little pocket this of items. This is Mark Sheffel. And then we're going to show you a new build mm -hmm. option in the fives. And we're going to take you inside that one. Um, that's currently available. There's some things I'm going to tell you my honest opinion about it because I'm real honest with you guys. This builder is one of our favorite. Actually, Kayleen just built with them. Mm -hmm. This there's some things with this with this house that aren't my favorite. It definitely but, feels like an entry level or a sizing down house. But there's more options available too. This one isn't for you. They have a few inventory homes, or yep. you could do a dirt start. One thing that I was recalling about it that I kind of liked. Is there's this the area privacy you're fence. About? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, but yeah, I'll tell you about the house. But okay. this. Right over here, that's like a coffee shop. There's a orthodontist right there. Oh, that's where um, it goes. That, that cute urban collective store is there. There's a gym, all sorts of stuff right here. What was that? Liquor store, gym. Gym. Um, but the house, it did have a, like the developer privacy fence in the back, which was different. Cause it oh. wasn't just the, from the house, we, the new build. That the we're new going to. build that we're going to, which that was a plus. Mm -hmm. Um, I, it felt almost like condo-y, like a condo to me, like the flow of it. It didn't feel so much like a single family. Uh, well, there's my maybe. son calling. There's Eli. He's not at the car wash yet. <laughs> he is not at the car wash yet. Oh, all right. So he's well, my little quick quack. I know. Well, happy new year, everyone. I think you're watching this when it's the new year. Okay. Right, we're so, we've always failed a couple weeks early, so we're a little be behind we're, the time while you have the time We're telling the this. future. <laughs> we're telling you. My Christmas was great. <laughs> My family didn't cause any drama. You loved I'm sure the of it. Nuggets I game. love the Nuggets game. If you watched our last <laughs> video on rock or the Rock Ribbon area, um, you, you'll see that. I'm talk about that. most looking forward <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, my daughter's coming back from college. Oh yeah, when she come back? Saturday. Oh. I get to pick her up tomorrow night. That's fun. I'm so excited, and she'll be home for three weeks. Yeah, that's but nice. she is in a boot right now. She was injured, so we have like doctor's appointments, and I have to tote mm -hmm. her around. It's like you with Marley. I know. Like my I'm actually nervous surgery. for her to walk through the airport. She has like her big bag. Yeah. She's bringing home, and I was like, check it. <coughs> and then when we're here, we can go through some of her stuff. And she's all the way in North Carolina, so she probably hasn't seen her new home yet. She hasn't, so that's exciting. Yeah, she's excited, and she's just. She said she wants real meat. Oh. I was like, you get real meat at the cafeteria. She wants like our food. Yeah, I'm sure. So I just want to like feed her good and just spend like time with like her. You're like a grandma. You're. <laughs> I just want to feed her good. I do. She. She. <laughs> She really doesn't like the cafeteria she doesn't food. like that? Mm -hmm. I didn't mind it very much, actually. I, it, it, I remember I getting sick of it, yeah, but I, I, I never was fine. I like, so you can see all these, like, signs. So you have Richmond, Covington. I mean, there's so many builders in this area. That's why you probably should reach out to us. Because then you also get to take advantage of our big green box special coming in 2024. Oh, yeah. So when you're watching this, it's already taking place. I think we already have three closings in the new year. So three people are taking advantage of our big green box. One is so getting, tell them what it is. So it actually is a big green box that you get to open at closing. So when you buy or sell with us, um, it's, Kayleen made this big green box. It was my vision. It was cool. She made it come to life. So it's a huge box and we have these cutouts of these closing gifts that you can have when you buy or sell with us here in Colorado And they Springs. are luxury gift items that you get to pick out what you receive. So what our first client chose an 86 inch LG 4K TV. Our second client closing in 2024 chose 
a um, like a, a eye robot, like the self suctioning uh-huh. one, <laughs> um, self sucking one. Is it? <laughs> is it the one with the mop? On and it? the mop and uh-huh. like a little Dyson vacuum because she has three dogs and so uh-huh. that's really that good. Was what and she then wanted. Our third one, I don't, we haven't sent her her closing dock yet, so I'm no. not sure what she's gonna choose. She's the middle of January. See all this open space. This is that's all, all development gonna be housing. coming. So. We're taking you to this new build. So so, I, so when we talk about, we just were at the clubhouse about how it's walkable. Maybe from some of these new developments, you probably wouldn't walk there. I have an idea, an okay. interactive part for this video. Oh gosh, there's your stuff. Oh, there's my stuff. Um, if you're going to be moving in this next year and you're thinking maybe Colorado Springs, I want you to drop a box emoji down below just so we can like get an idea of people that are actually making the move we have to plan how much money we have to spend there <laughs> no oh, you I want to see like how many people are planning on moving in this we, new year. you also can choose from a Louis Vuitton bank uh-huh. a snowblower lawn more package uh-huh. um, nine months of house cleaning once every three weeks you can have a house cleaner come so who else would want a clean house for nine months and then I'm missing one more the Louis Vuitton bag, did I say that? Mm-hmm. Louis Vuitton, lawnmower. Oh, the big green egg. Big green Which egg. Which I think I might choose if we were closing on something because I, my husband loves to grill. And we yeah. don't have one of those. We have a Blackstone, but the big green eggs are expensive. That would be fun. And they're cute. So those are your options. And they're cute. They are, they're kind of cute. I like but it. yeah, drop a box if you're planning on moving over the next year, whether that's Colorado Springs, whether you're figuring it out. So I just want to know how many of you are watching are planning a move. Yeah. So we're going to head over here. I can see the flag. We're almost to this model home here. We're going to get out. And there's show that really too. not much more to build out. Like I bet this is only, I think you'd be surprised three to five land. years. Yeah. They do it quick. Building. It's always amazing to me how quickly it grows. We didn't even know this was here till yeah. we got. We have some clients who reach out, and they some have never been here before. Or some have just been here or here while they're they call us while they're here. And other clients have been. It's been like you know twenty years since they've been out, and I was like, it's really changed. Like mm-hmm. you're going to be surprised to come out again. How much we've grown um, in this There's area. There's a lot of building going on all over Colorado Springs. Yep. Lots of multifamily housing going up, especially downtown. I feel like our downtown is really upping their I game. I know, it is. I think we've got a lot I like of new it. stuff. That we're bringing a lot of new businesses to the area. I was just reading our And it's like kind of trendy down there. We're very trendy around here. Uh-huh. So here's a quick move in one. So a lot of different options. So if you if you want a new build, reach out. We can give you, um, you know, a quick rundown of the different options. Like different new build, single family that's ready to go in the low 500s and I'm guessing because it's almost like an inventory home you can probably get some really good concessions and or rate buy downs and the big buy green downs box. and the big green box like this is actually a really good everyone buy needs a big green box for Colorado Springs so all right we're gonna get out and show you this new build here um, and tell you a little bit about it let's go all right, so we're out here in the sun today and the wind fighting the elements. It's super, it's super windy. windy, but we're going to show you some of these Covington models here. So we're super excited to show you some new build options in Banny Lewis Ranch. So the builder here um, has asked us to go ahead and take a look at, I think they have about six inventory homes they're trying to um, get rid of. They wanted some exposure. They wanted our opinion. We sell a I lot know, of I'm homes. To see it. We sell a lot of Covington homes. So they wanted to get our opinion. I'm kind of um, aware of what this product line is. Lori's never seen it. So I want to show her and video you with your reaction to this home at 525 in Banning Lewis and see what you think about the value Let's and what go. type of builder. So I'm taking Lori here over to Banning Lewis and I want her, I just bought a Covington home and the sales rep had said, we have a few more inventory homes. Some are in Meridian Ranch, some are in Banning. And they wanted us to take a tour of these and give us their, our opinion on the value of the home, where it's at, and what the product is. So I thought I would show Lori from the perspective that she's never seen these homes before. I want to hear what she has to say about this home in Banning Lewis. It's listed at 524000 It's a brand new build, brand new inventory, just 
under 1,700 square feet, three bed, two bath. Let's hear what she has to say about this home. Okay, so we're Ready. a little crabby today. It's a little windy out there today, kids, but I actually was telling Kayleen right before we came in here, we have a client coming into town uh, tomorrow for her inspection, and to, yesterday was 70, today is 60, tomorrow we're expecting snow. So I had the whole gamut, so I said, bring your boots. Um, yeah. So I think that front's coming through. So, so what I wanted you to do, okay? so this is Ready. a brand new Give product from Covington Homes. It's an inventory home. So they've asked us to go ahead and take a look at it for $524,000 okay. brand new. Like, what do we think? What's your honest feedback on the floor plan okay. and the value? Okay, what's beeping? Let's go look. <laughs> the drone Before hit a tree. we get into this, what is going on? The drone hit a tree. I hit the drone in a tree. It says, go so the doctor. put him to sleep and then let's go see the house. I don't even know how to turn him off. He's like this living, breathing thing. Yeah, he's he's a little sad right now. I got him. Okay, he's off. Thing when you walk in the front door is there's not really like a ton of like drop zone space. There's a little space here, um, but I do love the tall ceilings. That's pretty um, pretty nice. Like and you'd then, have to put like a piece of furniture or something. I, well, I it's know. not even. I guess you put a plant there. I mean, I just feel like that is a little bit kind of different, not used very well. And then there is a coat closet here, but I'm just thinking logistically. So when you walk in the garage back here, this is what I can tell you is I do love that it's a little bit extra deep out here so you can keep some of your Colorado toys. But when you walk in, I can just see my kids coming in with all of their backpacks. I'm not quite sure where they'd put them. So I think I'd have to put. Well, like and that three there? bedrooms, is it really a family home? Yeah, maybe like or a starter home. Or is the ideal? And what, is this a three car tandem? I don't know if it's a, is it a full tandem? It is there? a full tandem. Okay, so that part is nice. I do love the kitchen area. I mean, I like nice big island. I love double stoves. Like I've tried to buy like a single oven stove and it would have the double feature in it and it just never works. So I do love that. I love the gas range here. I don't know if I love the up and down of the cabinetry up there. Um, and I do prefer like kind of like a pole on my cabinetry. The color. What do you think of the color? I do like the color. It's like driftwood or yeah, something different. I do like it. I just think it's very gray in here, which, you know, gray is like the floors are a little gray. The walls are gray. Countertops are gray. Um, I just feel like they need to add a little couple hour. There is a pantry, right? Is that what that is? There is a little pantry, which is, is necessary, I would say. It's not very deep, but there is a pantry in here for your okay. Costco runs. Um, and you know, so these, then these arches are different too, I would say, as far as... Like aesthetics? Aesthetically, you know, usually you don't have like kind of the arch thing or uh, shape, I would say. The living room is a really good size, I would say. I don't, I think this is for the garage to save space. You can have the fireplace as well. Um, so you can do a full sectional in here. I like that, you know, windows above there. You can see how windy it is. I don't know if you can see out those windows, but it is pretty. And then the dining the area, there. what do you think about dining? You know, you can fit maybe six people in here if you had to. You're not going to have your big Thanksgiving dinners, but you, know, you could fit maybe six around here so are you feeling table? i know it's single family home which means it's not touching sides but i don't know like what's the size like how many people would you put in this house comfortably um maybe a couple a couple and maybe one child uh-huh you know like a baby i could see something like that or even people have... downsizing yeah and the other part about this one is there is unfinished basement i believe yes there so is. there is room to expand. Now I can't put my pant or my uh, drop zone, but there is a full basement down here that you could finish and add value to it as you go. So I just want to see if there's room for like a bedroom. Yeah, so there's a full size window and two of them. So you could put a little rec area down here, a full bath and another bedroom, which would help, I think. Yeah, so, but then you'd yeah. have four bedrooms, maybe a second living area, or maybe an office down here. Yeah, you could do an office with a down living here. Area. So there's room. It just is. Well, you're at what? 1,679 square feet. Yeah, and I think this would be, had it been a great starter home when my husband and I were first married, or like I said, we had like one kid, but now when I have three teenagers, I think we might kill each other. All right. So, so now like upstairs. That there's a half bath because there isn't one in there. And I don't think it's weird. People have to go upstairs. Go okay, downstairs. so it's kind of tucked around. 
And then you do still have this like kind of grand entrance, I guess. I like the wood details here. I love that laundry is on the main level. Or the upstairs by the bedrooms. Yeah, by the main sleeping. And then what do you have? Two bedrooms up here. They're decent size. You could fit three bedrooms total, two bath. Correct. Two and a half bath. Yep. Decent so here's size. bedroom two or three, the secondary bath. Mm -hmm. Linen closet for Linen storage. Linen closet, other bedroom. And now give me your thoughts on primary. Okay, let's look at primary. So primary, you're obviously going to put your king bed right here. It's probably the only place for it without blocking windows. I do like that they have the windows on the side. For Look at light. how windy it is. So windy. Arch door. Now this is some of our clients and I don't know how I don't have a door to go into your bathroom. Some people, that's a showstopper. Um, it has a tub. I actually love the tile on this. This is the tile on my new house. Is it? I do like it. It's, it's a little tight right here. Uh-huh. But um, you do get your bath but it's and your shower. Five piece, right? And some of our clients want a tub, some don't. Good size walk-in closet because everyone has pillows in their closet. <laughs> but yeah, it's a you know for for 525, Banny Lewis, great schools. You know you have the pool, do the parks, brand new community out here. Um, you know walking trails there. I can see the mountains right now from out that window. A really good value, I would say at 525. So if you want a home, 525, walk in, not a lot to do, new build, Covington always packs a punch and comes in on top. Okay, so here's what we were looking at, 524.9. Um, and then what else? They always do, Covington always do, does a HERS rating and it kind of um, everything they put onto the home that's green and energy efficient, they rate the home and you get a certificate and it shows you this home with what they put into it, saves you um, on energy about $1,659 a year. <music>is to show you that powers corridor real quick and I wanted to start it now because it's so pretty today um, the mountains probably look a little bit further than they actually are so um, it is very pretty it's today. just pretty without foothills so we're headed west towards power so on powers when you live in this community um, you get access to that whole corridor there's tons, a lot of it's chain restaurants there's some well, that are and not did you know they have a new so where we're heading is um Dublin and Powers. We're going directly down Dublin right now and we're going to hit Powers. There's a brand new Chipotle. Did you know that? I didn't know that because it used to be. Yeah. yeah I'm know, super excited there. about that. Um, the there's climbing like, gym there. The climbing What's gym. Gripstone there's a lot of like um, storage places over there. There's a Dutch Station. Brothers. I like the come and goes for gas stations. Like they always have clean bathrooms. <laughs> And they have like a know. good like I have a preference drink station. I don't know. I you like I like that? those. Okay, I'll get yeah. that to you. Right. I th I hate going into some gas stations and I'm like, ew, your bathroom's gross. Theirs are always nice and clean. Um, Target is probably two miles north of here, and then you have a Costco probably a mile south of here. Uh -huh. off of Barnes. Oh, there's a Super Target down there too. And two, if two you, targets. like, if I lived in Banning Lewis, you know what grocery store I'd be going to? That King Super Center. It's there. literally right down Mark Shuffle. Do you think the new King Super is in Flankworth is going to be better? Oh, probably. I mean, I think it's going to be fancy. Are you going to shop up there? No.
I mean, if I'm there, I, will. I go to the small grocery stores. I like my small. Mine's kind of like a ghetto grocery store. There's like King Super by my house, and I go to the it's Safeway. It's not really ghetto, but that's where I doesn't I'm have go. so much of the selections. But it's just so easy, and I know where everything is. And you is. know where everything's there's at. Never and there's super not busy. a lot of people there. No, that's what that King Supers so by busy. the. I know every so time I've went. They have a great floral section. Like if you need flowers, they do. They or have something. more of like a deli section. So if I really want that, yeah. And I would say my or Safeway doesn't have good um, good meat selection here. Mm. I have to go to Costco for my meat. I do not like it. And we just buy a beef and a pig every year. I so know. I really the only thing I get. And you're right. It's like at Sam's Club or Costco. I just get. I chicken like to buy and the fish. chicken and fish, and I try. Yeah. We're never. We try not to eat so much red meat sometimes. I know pork. we really have a bad yeah, habit with that. That's because you're like I feel like you're not, I feel like you're like more like we, country-ish. Like my we family in Nebraska eat does a lot, lot of, red of red meat, and it it does kind of get old after a while. Yeah, I like crave like a pork or chicken or fish, something light. But I do love protein. Yeah, so. we're talking about food again. <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about food again. I am hungry though. This is I think we so, film and I don't eat breakfast because I get so busy. And then by the time we're done filming, I'm like, hmm, let's talk about food. But then Lori's lunch usually consists of like pretzels and hummus. I love hummus lately. And you or you do cheese and nuts. Yeah, I do like that too. I'm more of a grazer during the day, and then I have a night. My husband likes to have a meal, so we have a meal. At night. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So, anyways, See, that's what it is. and if I were in my perfect world, I'd have a really good lunch and then graze at dinner. Really? Oh, uh-huh. Wow. I like to be filled up during the day. <laughs> so, we're almost there. These are, this is what we call Stetson Hills. So, we're kind of driving yeah, through Stetson, Stetson Hills. Hills. If you're on a, looking at a map, homes from the 90s, the early 2000s, mm-hmm. this area really exploded. So, more affordable housing here as well. Um, just not quite as new, I would say, than yeah. when you're in Banning Lewis or like once you get past, past Mark Shuffle, those are newer homes. These are like, you can get into that 400,000s here in Stetson Hills. Um, they tend to have a little bit bigger lots, um, but you're still North Colorado Springs. Like people like this location because of the affordability and what's all around. Yeah, you're definitely by a lot of Look, we're almost to Powers right here. Yep. Oh, the Chick-fil-A here, my favorite. There's Chick-fil-A, my... Whataburger, Panera. There's an If I'm gonna oh, have fast food. Have you ever food, been to the Prime be... Rib and Chop House? No. I don't think so. We went there, my mom, my sister and I, it was a few weeks ago when the boys were hunting. And it is so good. Really? Yes, you'll have to go there for a date night. Really good blue cheese. I never come to the Powers Quarter for a date night. I always go downtown. I know. This I'll was try. actually really good, well, though. I like blue cheese. So. And it was a fun atmosphere. It's like casual steakhouse. Hmm. But you know how, like, the famous, you spend, like, $300? Yeah. This was, like, their salmon was amazing. <laughs> More food. <laughs> so this is Powers Corridor, like we talked about. We're probably going to leave you here in a minute. I know you're, like, sad and probably, like... We'll join you again next week. Don't you worry. Um, But you can drive for two miles and you have the same, it looks the same for two miles (laughs) up and down with different restaurants and different, there's movie theaters. All sorts of stuff. Whatever. So lots of options as well. So we absolutely love making Colorado Springs your guys' home. So if you're thinking of making that move anytime, really, um, give us a call. We not only help find you the perfect home in the area but we help walk you through all the logistics and there's a lot of moving pieces especially when you're going from state to state yeah. um, so we can help advise and our lender can help advise on a lot of those logistics like what to do first um, you know I, I think we've done this for long enough and um, helped so many people we've really I say we've seen it all I think we're getting I don't close. know. I keep saying that, and then I'm like, we haven't seen it all. I'm like, that's, I'm like guess what happened today, Kaylee? I know, but we, I, we're, we've done it a lot, and we are experts at this state-to-state move. So just give us a call. Put those numbers on your phone. Give us a call. And Happy New Year. Yep. Mm-hmm.